So today is all about bites and bows from BB Social Dining. As well as ice cream. You scream. We all scream. But activated charcoal ice cream sprinkled with gold dust. That's right, we're stopping in at Scoopy for a fat scoop and we cannot wait. Well, for now, there is a Kabikti bow with my name on it. You better go get it. I am. Our cuisine, we, we specify into Eastern, right? And if people ask what is Eastern cuisine, they don't necessarily understand the part, but because everybody says Eastern, okay, so you're Asian or you're Pan-Asian. What is Pan-Asian nowadays anyway, to be honest? Right? It's a mixture of different cuisines which influence the Eastern cuisine, I would say. Now, ingredients are widely available. Doesn't matter where you are. People grow ingredients from different parts, not just from Japan. It can be from South Africa, it can be from, from Spain. So now they're mixing them. Right, to modernize the food. So what makes you unique in BBC is like we literally took on this mentality and created Eastern cuisine, which is literally like anything from Europe going all the way to Japan and everything is in the mix. It's a high-end execution of quality ingredients. Best in addition time at market, definitely the Habib Diba. Well, we're living in one of the, the time now where social media is huge. I think this bow is very, very outstanding in terms of Instagrammable or photogenic. There was one very key element what we started into in BB's was like the food is not just a matter of good looking and, and affordable or diversity. Nowadays food needs to look great as well as taste great. Golden rule taste the food because who will be tasting it after you is the customer. So if you haven't tasted, so the customer going to get it either good or it's always a gambling. The 50-50 chunks, is it great or not great? To make sure that it's always great, first the guy has to taste it, and then the chef on the pass has to taste it as well. East meets Middle East at this Time Out Market favorite. BB Social's banging bouts have blown away everybody who's tried them at Time Out Market Dubai, and do not get us started on the Wagyu Katsu Sando. This is the definition of fierce fusion fun. Where is that buzzer, and why isn't it going off? I need my bow. I need the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Oh, hey. yes. Hi. Now we're talking. Hello. How's it going? Is this going? ours? Wow. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Reems, this is certainly one of the most attractive smorgasbords we've had. Yeah, I would definitely the say this is Instagram worthy. Presentation is absolutely on point. What have we got? Well, we have the Habib Bao, which is my favorite dish at the market. We've got a steamed and toasted bao bun, obviously soft shell crab, and a wasabi dressing. And here is the braised beef bao as this well. Is, it's called This is BB. This so is BB. This is like a real taste <laughs> of it. This is what they're all about. But the one that's just cannot take my eyes off is the Wagyu Katsu. <laughs> Sando, that. it looks phenomenal. If Brad Pitt cosplayed as a Sando, this is what it would look like. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> and then obviously we've got the cauliflower popcorn and there is a truffle tofu dipping sauce. Truffle tofu, have you ever had truffle tofu? I haven't, no. Well, I'm trying a lot of truffle at Time Out Market. It's definitely uh, a speciality down here. So, what are you we going for first? In? I think we both need to... We're going to split the yeah. soft shell crab, so I'm very happy How about this. How are we going to elegantly do this? I've had this before. I don't think there's an elegant way to do it. Me neither. <laughs> but I think you're just going to have to dig in. Okay. Got the crunch factor. So in terms of crunch factor, it is up there. Have you got the wasabi kick yet? I haven't got the wasabi kick yet, but I'll oh, keep that exploring. Wasabi kick. You can see why it's a best, a best seller here. It's absolutely packed, packed, bursting at the seams Ooh. with soft shell crab. It all comes together so nicely. It's very aromatic as well. Like it's all of the senses getting the treatment. Beat plus. I am just so good. Okay, are you ready? Sorry, I am ready. This. This is all. This is me. This is this a bit is of you. Me. This is all me. Always me. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch you now. It, it's so unbelievably fat. The brioche is so. It's almost crunchy in itself. Like I just love it. You're talking about Instagrammable mm -hmm. plates uh, a little bit earlier, and this is like you wish your thumbs had brakes for this one. Like when you're scrolling down, it's just an absolute <laughs> scroll stopper. Is that good? That's Beans. how good it is. You're gonna have to finish the show because I'm just gonna sit here and eat these for the next. Okay, I'm gonna dig into this. This is a bit of me. Anything that's turned into popcorn, somehow, so much better. 
elevated the taste. But it's the sauce what is as it? well. The sauce as well. The I've never had sauce. a tofu sauce. Okay, you sold it to me. You've twisted my arm, Reams. I will dive in and join you on this journey. It's so peculiar, right? So what about the uh, mustard ton katsu sauce, Reams? Got a nice kick. How does that feel? Hit you at the back of your throat, just that mustardy kick. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. I really Bit like heat. that. I really like that. I might stick the rest of my uh, katsu sandwich in there as well. Katsu everywhere. What katsu about your up to my eyeballs by the time this episode is finished. What about This Is BB? If it's called This Is BB, that's their signature, right? Yep. Mm. Look at the meat. I mean, just by looking at it, you can tell it's just. It's a thick old boy, this one as well. <laughs> He'd get. <laughs> He almost, he almost needs two bows. He's like, he's like growing out of this one. He clearly <laughs> eats all his vegetables. It's unbelievably tender. Like, I feel like it ticks three boxes. You've got taste, aroma, and presentation. Given that this is BB's <laughs> and this is their signature dish, so I suppose there was a Thanos level of inevitability that this is BB by BB Social was gonna bang. Get yours <laughs> and make it. Snappy. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt this programming to bring you a very important announcement. Time out market device is having the best dishes from across the city under one roof. Get yours today and don't forget to subscribe. Why my time on market is it's very amazing. It's like you're getting 20 best things at one spot. You don't have to go anywhere else. You just you just come here and enjoy your time. Like you have alcohol, great food, music, of course, amazing view of the Burj Khalifa and the fountain. That's Dubai, all in one. Scoopy's ice cream is different because it's all fresh and uh, all the ingredients are very basic from the scratch and there's no artificial things inside. My personal favorite is absolutely pistachio ice cream and saffron pistachio. It's a very fine way of development which took place when we develop those recipes and the flavors. The golden rule is make sure it's served fast in a perfect way. The presentation has to be top and that's about it. Just serve it with a smile. Love ice cream. Well, so does Scoopy. But this is not ice cream as you know it. This is liquid nitrogen. It's drama. Theatrics. Basically you. <laughs> <laughs> With a, oh, with a bit of gold. With a bit of gold, On the last episode, we promised you a scoopy level of cool fact about this very table. It's and I'm very pleased to inform you that this majestic piece of wood is Time Out Market Dubai's editor's table. Which basically means if you're sitting here, you're a VIP. VIP, baby. Because. VIP. Or you're an editor who works at Time Out. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> ice, going? ice, baby. No, 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 no. Okay, we're Hello, ready. Hello, Scoopy. Ah. Oh, hey. Now we are oh. talking. Oh, my word. Wow. Rima, it's another ice cream <laughs> speed run. I love it. Yeah, I feel like we're it's on a time It's your weapon crunch. of choice. It's melting, quickly. <laughs> it's melting. Okay, charcoal, what gold, have we got? gold. So this is activated charcoal yeah. with gold. gold. And this is sort of like a, it's red, so I'm guessing it's going to be flavored, but like a waffle cone, right? <sighs> Guys, like. This is... What do you think charcoal tastes like? What do I think charcoal tastes like? Hot. <laughs> Paradox. Oh, it's just the gold. Look at it. Amazing. Is Absolutely this amazing. the fanciest ice cream in the world? Not Dubai, in the world. We're so fancy. <laughs> We're so fancy right now. Wow. That's a really unique taste, isn't it? Smooth, for sure. I'm sure a lot tastier than actual charcoal. I feel like activated charcoal is like a super health food, so... So what you're saying, Reems... We're being really healthy right we now. We are being super healthy right now. This is, you know in cartoons when they're walking around in the garden mm -hmm. and there's that rake and they step oh, into yeah. it and then it's like BAM! Right in the chops. This is what this in is? In the best possible way, that is the impact that this has. Incredible. Okay, so we've got the pistachio ice cream waffle. Oh, it's just speed According to sound up guy Mo, the flavors have to be savored. Big shout out, sound guy. Okay, so this is a pistachio ice cream and pistachio sauce as well. Mm -hmm. Lashed, and a waffle. Lashed waffle. How is the waffle holding up in terms of its consistency under there? Seems seems quite doughy rather than crispy. It's not <laughs> soggy, I'll say that. Mm. Off the record. Which one's your favorite? Which one's my favorite? Um, I thought I thought it was going to be the activated charcoal ice cream just because of that absolute flex of having the gold flex. <laughs> gold flex for a gold flex. 
but the pistachio ice cream in that waffle is just fantastic. It's a it's a winner. I'm just gonna eat all to. the gold. 24 carat in the air. Mmm. Mm. Cheers, Reams. <laughs> Another delicious afternoon at Time Out Market Dubai, and we cannot wait to be back. Next week, we'll be checking out Chinese Supremo Long Tang. As well as the kings and queens of the cold brew at Nightjar. We'll see you there. We'll see you there. <laughs>